Welcome to the demonstration of experiment electro plating. An example of electrolysis, I am Mr. Mesh, Inspire Faculty, Department of Chemistry, Sastradi University. The aim of this experiment is to electro plate copper on the surface of iron nail. And before going to the principle of this experiment, let me talk about some significance of uh, electrolysis. It is very useful in automobile industries, for example, chrome painting for uh, vehicles to give the shine shininess of the material as well as to increase the corrosion resistance for the material. And the steel molds, nets as well as washes are coated with the zinc to improve the anti-corrosion property. And silver, copper uh, as well as cross wires are made up of uh, electro plating process to improve the electrical conductance of the material. And zinc coating, particularly for uh, reducing the frictions between the connectors as well as to improve the conductivity of the material. And the aesthetic gold again prepared on the surface of copper as well as silver to improve the value of the material as well as to reduce the cost of the material. So, coming to the principle of this experiment is electroplating process. This is a process of coating of spray metal onto the surface of uh, Metal, basically it is a base metal using power source. On the other hand, electrical splitting, it is a coating of a metal onto the surface of either metal or non metal without any power source. Or one can use the catalytic reagents, for example, reducing agents, which will supply the electrons to the metal ions, and metal ions will be taking the electrons get deposited on the surface of any solid material. And before starting the experiment, we need to know what other materials are required for the experiment. We need copper wire or you can take copper plate. So iron nail or any other iron plates you can take on which we are going to pour the copper metal. And glass beaker as well as the power source for supplying the electricity. And very importantly, we need to know the electrolyte for the system. Here we need to know what kind of uh, metal coating on the surface of iron nail. So we are going to use the copper deposition of iron nail. So we have to use the salt of aqueous solution of copper salt. So we are, we are going to use copper sulfate as an electrolyte. So this is a schematic uh, representation for this experiment. So we have to take the copper wire and iron nail. We have to insert into the copper sulfate solution. So before inserting, we have to make sure the copper wire or iron nail should be properly dried as well as washed. And we have to insert into the copper sulfate solution. And we have to connect with the power source. The copper must be connected to the positive terminal of the power source and the iron ring should be connected to the negative terminal of the power source. So we have to ensure that these two electrodes should not be touching each other throughout the electrolysis process. And now we can switch on the power source for electrolysis. Here the regulator which we can adjust to increase the rate of current between the electrodes. On the other hand, we can start the electron splitting for that we need a copper sulfate solution and an nail. And we can simply dip into the solution. We may not connect to the power source. And coming to the explanation of this experiment, and here the copper, copper is going to act as anode and iron nail is going to act as cathode. The copper, copper is an anode, copper is getting oxidized and releasing two electrons that can be pushed by the positive terminal, that, that's what it is clearly indicated, that should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And one of the electrons can be pushed towards to the negative, that means cathode, that can be pushed towards cathode by the negative terminal. And on the surface of the cathode, the electrons can be attracted to copper 2 plus from the solution 
and copper two plus getting reduced by two electrons, giving copper zero, which is not soluble in solution, will be deposited on the surface of iron ray. And the rate of uh, deposition can be very wide. The change in the concentration of electrolyte here we can change the concentration of copper sulfate or we can change the current flow between the electrodes. And now we can stop the electrolysis process by switching off the power source. Now I am taking out the uh, electrodes. So one can easily see the, the coating of copper on the surface of my name. On the other hand, still we can see in the electrolysis process the coating of copper on the surface of iron ray. So as I discussed earlier, it is very clear that the electrolysis getting it is depends on the formation of galvanic cell between the copper 2 plus as plus Fe0 that is iron ray because we can see the reduction potential value for copper 2 plus to copper 0 is 0.34 and Fe2 plus to Fe is minus 0.4. It is more tendency to be getting oxidized. Fe2 to Fe2 plus copper is more tendency to reduce to copper 0. So when you dip the iron line for electrons spreading into the copper surface solution, copper 2 plus takes electrons from the iron and and, and deposit on the surface of iron line. And the difference between the electron plus plating and electron plating is and here we can control the rate of uh, electron plating on the surface by varying the current source or current flow we can adjust the rate of deposition of the ion A. And another very important difference between the electron plus plating and electron plating is we can deposit the metal ions or metal on any surface, but electroplating is only for the conductive metals. Thank you.